Live from Massachusetts. Here is your host, Stu Miniman. Hi, this is Stu Miniman with Wikibon.org, SiliconANGLE TV on the ground at the Virtualization Technology User Group, or VTUG, Fall Forward 2014, talking to users here at the conference. Uh, joining me for this segment is John Judson, who is the Senior Systems Analyst with uh, Courier Corporation. John, thank you for coming. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here, Stu. All right, so uh, Courier Corporation, can you tell us a little bit about it and uh, your, your use of technology? Yeah, we're a, we're a book printer, and uh, we print uh, custom textbooks, we print uh, the Gideon Bible, we print uh, all kinds of cool stuff. And our challenge has been a, a transition from printing large runs of, of books to short runs. And we've kind of met that challenge by going to inkjet printers and uh, using virtualization to speed up the actual process with which we're ripping apart PDFs and presenting them to the printer so they can get a book out the door. All right, so, so John, when most people think of inkjets, they think of this th thing sitting on their desk or down there. Talk to us a little bit. Uh, you, you said this thing's the size of a Volkswagen Beetle, and you've got a couple of them. What, what, are, the, what are the challenges of uh, kind of getting the data to these printers, and, w and w where do you have them? All right, so we've got uh, three T300 presses from HP in uh, Chelmsford, Massachusetts, and we have two 450s from uh, HP out in Kindle, Indiana. And again, uh, the, the print engine itself is the size of a Volkswagen Beetle. It's kind of curved like that, too. It's, it's kind of neat. And the, the paper runs through these things uh, 300 feet per second on the T300, and, and I think it's 450 feet per second on the T450. And we have actual racks of blade servers whose sole purpose is figuring out when to turn the inkjet heads on and off to get the ink on the paper as it's streaming through this. So uh, we had to kind of rethink our whole you know, printing mentality from uh, plates and, and the, the old offset press process of, of spinning ink onto paper, and how do we go from a, a, an analog process to a digital process? All right, so, so uh, John, as we've gone from physical to virtual, you're, you're still going to be with, with physical paper. What has the kind of, has the changing role of the publisher uh, and online versus self-publishing? How, how is that impacting your business? Uh, well, one of the things that we're looking at these days, and it's very popular, is the uh, customizable textbook, where uh, publishers, instead of having to sell an entire uh, book of intellectual property to a customer, can now offer uh, schools or professors customized te textbooks where they choose uh, select chapters and can even upload their own content. And then, instead of having to print 500 or 1,000 books to be cost effective, they can print 22 for their class. So it, it's, it's changed the whole dynamic of, of printing large numbers of books down to very short print runs and having to get many of those out the door. And uh, the old model we had was constrained by the physical speed of the, the processors and the underlying disks that the application was relying on. We were able to uh, get the vendor to nod their heads and say, yeah, we'll work in a virtualized environment. And we were able to take that constraint and actually kill it with virtualization. It was a very uh, powerful win for us. All right, so, so you mentioned education as a use case. Any other industries that you've seen be able to, uh, you know, undertake this, this change in kind of the, the, the print world? Um, we're going down a path of, of self-publishing also. We, we're looking at providing uh, customers with the ability to print their own books and we have uh, uh, fastpencil.com where we actually allow people to upload content. They can work with uh, established authors and, and publishing professionals and, and edit their material and prepare a professional book uh, with the, their content and, and get it printed at a very cost-effective price. It's, 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 um, you know, it's, it's a very uh, web-centric, new, new age path instead of having to mail manuscripts in and, and all that kind of process, it's all online. It, it's, you know, it's, it's cool. All 
Right. So, so John, uh, t tell me, uh, th this is a nice, you know, local event. You, you, you're, you're a local uh, c company here. Uh, what brings you out, and what do you hope to gain from uh, attending uh, conferences uh, li like the, the VTUG here at Gillette? Uh, well, this is uh, my third or fourth VTUG event that I've been to, and these folks always do a, a great job. Uh, the, the keynote speakers, they always have something interesting to say. It, it's nice to, to kind of get your finger on the pulse of the industry. Uh, it's a great chance to walk around and talk to vendors, uh, both the ones that you, you know or you have an interest in, and, and meet new ones. Uh, there's, there's always something interesting to, to talk to up to the people. And then the breakout sessions are a good chance to you know, have a more uh, in-depth conversation or, or hear uh, a specific strategy or, or uh, thought process as to you know, what's going on in technology and, and how that might help us. So it, it, it's a great place to be. All right. Well, John, really appreciate taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to us. Uh, talking to all the users here at the Virtualization Technology User Group, uh, sh check out youtube.com slash siliconangle and uh, siliconangle.tv to catch all the videos uh, that we're shooting at this and many other shows uh, th that are changing the world of technology.